Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing a lipstick collection, a lipstick collection. I was originally going to do like a vlog, but just because I'm a little bit hazy, I've got like a bit of a cold, I'm just going to be doing just a lipstick collection today. And now I do have quite a few, quite a few, little, little, quite a few, so I'm going to be showing you them. However, I'm not going to make it as long as my last collection video, which I think was around 40 minutes long. So these ones are a bit shorter. I'm not going to swatch them for you because I don't have time to that, but I'm just going to show you them and explain what they are. And yeah, so let's get started. So the first ones I'm going to show you are actually my li liquid lipsticks. I have a lot of li liquid lipsticks and I keep them in these two, oops, sorry, top one. These two kind of, I can't really even see, but I keep them in these. Because I find it is the easiest way to store them. And so we're just going to get started. And I'm going to start with the ones at the back. So the first one I have here, this is a backup of, this is so the first one I have here, is the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Sandstorm. This is actually wrapped because this is actually a new one. I actually still have one that I'm using, which is over this one. This one is the one I'm using at the moment. It's not empty yet, but when that's empty, I'm going to be switching over to this one. This colour is just beautiful. It's kind of like a greyish kind of pink tone, but it is really, really pretty, and it's just beautiful, beautiful coloration. I have quite a few of the NYX ones. This is like a drugstore kind of one. So if you look closely at it, I don't know how to show you that. There we go. You see that it has a doe foot applicator. It kind of has that like greyish pink tone to it. It's just, it's very pretty. It's very, and because they, and they dry, they dry very quickly. This one I have is another one. This is the backup of the NYX liquid suede. This is in tea and cookies, which my my own is over there. This one is just a really beautiful kind of pink tone, really beautiful pink shade. It's stunning. I've used, I tend to use this one a lot. So whenever I do a makeup look, I'll always kind of reach for this one a bit more. Because it's really pretty, but I do love this one. And it's one I reach for. And that one does dry and matte when you apply it, which is really, really good. Okay, my next one I have is three from Maybelline. And these are the Maybelline Maybelline New York Superstate Matte Ink. And I have three. This one is in 05 Loyalist. It's like this really beautiful kind of nude. I don't know if you can see that. that. It's like a really beautiful... A really beautiful pink pinky nude it's stunning they always smell really really nice as well I just think like some of them are a little bit hard to get off like you have to like spend ages like rubbing it to get it off this one comes off pretty easy the other ones don't really come off the other one I have is this one which is this really beautiful purple and this is in Cre creator this is the one that takes a little bit longer to come off but it's this really beautiful bright purple. It is just stunning, stunning, stunning. It is gorgeous. I truly love it. And then I also have this purple one. So this is the one, this is like, not purple, sorry, orange. This is a beautiful coral orange and it is in the shade Heroin. I haven't used this one yet. This is the one that I haven't really used as much of. As you can see, it's a bit stuck there. But it is like this really beautiful kind of fuchsia orange coral and it is just beautiful 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 I then have two Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks this is the only things I have of his so I got his Velour liquid lipstick this one is in the shade Huntington Beach which is this like teal green kind of shade and I've also got this one, which is Blow Pony, which is this purple. It's really, really stunning. 
some colours work really, really well on my lips. I haven't used the green one yet, but I'm excited to use it. Alright, next we've got my big lot. Mo the most, most of the ones in here are Too Faced. And I have a couple of NYX as well. So as I said, NYX Liquid Suede in Sandstorm. I've also got the NYX Liquid Suede Cherry Sky. This is like a dark berry, dark berry, like cherry red. It is very, very beautiful. It is a little bit dark to use, but it's okay. I have this one, which is one of my favourites. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquified Longwear Lipstick Mini. This is in the shade Chihuahua. This is the exact same shade as my lips, which is I really, really lovely. I really love it. And the, this actually has like a little like doe foot. This one actually has like a sponge like actually on it. Instead of having to like dip it and then it has the thing there and you just squeeze it and it comes out. I really, no, I just really, really, really like it. And then, yeah, I've got my tea and cookies, which is the one I'm using at the moment currently. And then have one metallic one. This is the NYX Liquid Suede Metallic Matte in the shade Exposed. And this, if I just take it out for you, is like a shimmery, bronzy gold. You can't really see, it's a bit fuzzy, isn't it? And a bronzy gold would shimmer in it. I do like to, I do like it, but it's just a bit hard to try and match it with my skin tone. But it's a really, really pretty colour. Uh, now I'm going to go over here. I have this one from Stila. This is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the colour, in the shade Angelo. This is one of my absolute favourites, favourite favourites. This is really beautiful nude really gorgeous nude pink. It is stunning. I would highly recommend it if you don't have it. This one from the balm, this is the Meat Matte this is the Meat Matte Hues in the shade Commitment. It has like a minty smell to it and when you put it on your lips the first time it has it goes like a bit, bit of a tingling feeling. Or it's like tooth or it's like almost like toothpaste a little bit. Next I have two from Huda Beauty. This is the first one. This is the Huda Beauty L Liquid Matte in the shade Bombshell. And this is just like a brown, a browny pink, a nude colour. It is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I haven't reached this one as often as I would like, but it is really stunning. This one is probably too dark for me. This is too dark for me, but I still love it. I use it for like Halloween. This is the Huda Beauty Demi Matte in the shade Boss. It is a really dark, it is like a super dark purple. And look, you can see that. You can see that, it's just super, super dark for my skin tone. So I don't use this one every day, but I use it for like Halloween. But I'd use that for Halloween. This is technically a lip gloss. This is the Too Faced Melted Gold Liquefied Gold Lip, lip Gloss in Pure Gold. And it's li literally exactly what it says it is. It's to gloss. That is gold. It is actually quite really, really, really pretty. It has like the, it has like a really, it's like, it has a good beautiful sheen to it and it is just amazing, amazing, amazing and I love it to pieces. Again we have another one that's too dark. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwell Lipstick in the shade Evil Twin. This is like a black but it has like the hintiest hint of purple in it. It is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It is quite dark again so I mainly use this one for Halloween as well. Like if you have a look at it. It's like black, but has some purple in it. I'm going to use this one for Halloween because it's too dark, like I said. This one, which I haven't used yet because um, I haven't found the right combination also because it's a, it's a bit too dark, the blue. This is the Melted Matte in Who's Zoom and Who. It's a really beautiful, 
dark blue once again I, I haven't really used this one I think I'm going to use this for Halloween because it is a little bit too dark I have this brown one this is Naughty by Nature I could wear this one it is like it looks quite like a light muted brown but when I put it on it's really 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 dark I probably just need to work I think what I'm going to do is with these darker ones I'm going to wear I would wear the, these darker ones at night because they'll look a bit better but in the daytime they just look too dark for me but this blue is a really stunning stunning this one is a little bit more patchy than the others like this one goes on really really smooth all of these ones go on really really smooth but the blue one is just a little bit patchy this one is probably the one that I would reach for the most out of all of my lipsticks. Out of all my liquid ones, sorry. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick in the shade Sell Out. This is this beautiful nude pinky reddish brown colour. It is by far my favourite. I love this one. This is my other one. If I, if I could only... If I, if I only could keep, like, if I could only wear one, one, one little lipstick for, 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 the, for the rest of my life, it would be this one. That's because it is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it to pieces. Sorry. Now we're getting into the more colourful ones. I only have a few colourful ones, really, from Too Faced. This one, which is a bright pink, this is 1998. This is like this beautiful, bright fuchsia pink. I haven't used this one too much yet. And because I haven't found the right eye, eye colours to go with it. But I'm going to be, to be using this the next time I do my makeup. I then have this darker pink. This is, it's happening. It's this beautiful fuchsia, strawberry, kind of watermelony pink. It is stunning, stunning, stunning. It is very bright. It is very bright, very beautiful, and I just love it to pieces. Next one I have is this one. This is orange. This is this is Ropa. This one is a bit thicker. I think it's because I think it's because there's not much left in it but it's a bit thicker to apply so you have to try and do it a bit so you have to try to spend a bit longer applying it but it is a really beautiful colour and I do really really like it I have this red lipstick this is the another one from Too Faced this is Lady Balls this is one of my absolute favourite reds it's just beautiful it is gorgeous look this beautiful like Dark, pure red. I find red like a really beautiful shade. Sometimes I might, sometimes I can't always wear it because it is a bit. <coughs> <coughs> One second. Sometimes you can't always wear it because it's a little bit. Uh, too dark. But this red. Is really really stunning. Okay, moving on. Now moving on to a more like traditional lipstick. I have some in here. I also have them in my drawer down here. I'm gonna pull them out on my wand because they're not in a little lid like this. I have one more li liquid lipstick which I never use. This is like a grayish purple. This is the Nars. NARS Velvet Lip Guide in Bound and it's like this like greasy kind of purple shade which I've never used but somehow I still have it so I have a lot so this is one of my favourite drugstore brands to get you probably can't see it this is from the brand um Ulta 3 I don't know how to fix it so it's the right way up for you guys. It's from the brand Ulta 3. I'll have to. 
And I have a few military shades, and I have quite a few of theirs. So I have this one, which I got recently. This is like a terracotta kind of colour. This is in the shade Caramel Kiss. It's like a terracotta kind of bronzy colour. I haven't used this one yet, but it looks really gorgeous. They've also got this bright orange, which is in the shade Firecracker. I haven't used this one yet. This is like a matte orange. That's like a very bright orange. I haven't used that one yet. The ones in here I haven't used. I have this dark berry matte red brown. Just look at how beautiful that is. It has a little bit of shimmer in it. And that is the shade Bitten. I've also got the shade, I've also got this one from Revlon. This is the Revlon Colour Stay Ultimate Suede in the shade Iconic. This is one of the first ones I ever had. This has like a little sound when you put it up. That's like the same colour as my lips, so when I put it on, you can barely tell I'm wearing anything. I have this one from Burt's Bees, and this is in the shade Blush Blush. Sorry. Blush Basin, sorry. It's like a pinky greyish. I have a lot of like pinky greyish colours. Another altar, this is in the shade Firecracker. Sorry, that's Fire. Sorry, this one was Fire Breather. This one is Firecracker. And that's like a kind of more muted orange. Which is really pretty. I have used this before. It's like falling out a lid almost. I have this one, which is one of my favourite nude ones to wear. This is uh, Bear by Ulta. It's this beautiful nude shade. It does look a little bit pale on my lips, but that's okay. I really love it. Also, this one, which is one of my absolute favourites. This is Peppery. A beautiful nude pink. That pink. Oh, don't worry. I then have this red, this deep red. Oh, look how deep red that is. That is just beautiful, 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 and I love it. And that is the shade Deep Red Rose. I haven't used that one as much yet either. This one, Sweet Current. I've used this one. It is beautiful. It's like a, just a deep purple. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This one is another deep red. This is Baby Doll. It's a bit more shimmery than the deep red rose. I have this other one. This is Hot Pink Kisses. This is one of the original ones that I had. Oh, by the way, if you hear me sniffling, just like my lot, it's just like my first video. I have a cold again. I just seem to, I just seem to very easily get cold. Okay, I'm gonna move on to some other ones now. So I have this one. This is my only. This is my only Mac lipstick here. On. My only one. This is the Mac. Um, matte lipstick in Velvet Teddy. It is stunning, stunning, stunning. I actually got this at a Mechaland at a Mechaland um, convention thing. I got that there. It was really beautiful. I've also got this Smashbox one. This is the only Smashbox lip lipstick I have, and this is a um, another purple. I have a lot of purple lipsticks, but I don't tend to wear purple lipsticks as much as I would like. And that's in the shade Violet Riot in matte. I then have a few of these Maybelline kind of ones. And this is the shade Ruby for me. It's just a really beautiful, stunning red shade. It is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I love it. I hope this video hasn't been going too fast. I've been talking for 19 minutes. I then have this one, which is in a clear container. And this is the Crazy for Coffee. 
this is like this brown shade how when you put it on it's like a terracotta -y kind of nude brown so it's not actually as dark as it looks I have this one which is from BH Cosmetics this is the cream luxe lipstick this is the shade tea time again it's just another, another picky nude a lot of my lipsticks you'll notice are pinks or nudes because they're, they're the ones that tend to go for the most I have this one which is the one I reached for a lot from, from this from, from like the ones down here I'll just show you like I don't really see the light. I can't really show you. And then I can't really show you all that well. This is what I reached from from down in here. This is the pink for me. And it looks like this. It's just a really beautiful nude pink. This is the one I reach for quite often. I've also got this one, which is Plum for me. That's like a dark, a little crimson colour. Beautiful. Uh, um, oh, I have this Ciate one. I have this one from Ciate, from Ciate. And this is her. This is just called Apollo. This is not to say how lipstick it is but this is called a polo and this is a glittery purple you can't really see but it's like a purple look if i can just hold it up it's like a purple and it has like sparkle in it and it's just like one of the best lipsticks ever I miss this one. This is a savvy. This is again just another nude. Little pink nude, and that is pretty pink. Uh, I think I showed you that one. Um, we have this one from L'Oreal, and this is the Made for Me Intense L'Oreal Paris in the shade Burning Rose, to the red has sparkles in it. I apologise, I'm sick when I film these videos. I never plan it that way, it just happens. Sephora, I have the Sephora one, this is the first one, this is probably one of the first higher ones I bought, this is the Sephora Rogue Shine in N20, it's a beautiful pink. I don't use this one as often as I should anymore. I have this one, this is the Designer Brands 679 Red Lust. I actually stole this one from my school when I did a musical in year 10. I actually took, I actually like took this lipstick. I know I probably should, should have done that, but it was pretty. I hope they don't come for me. I have this one in this Chi Chi one, this is Viva La Diva. It's like a red, it's like this really dark kind of red, but it's actually a deceive because when you put it on, it's actually like a purple. It's actually a lot brighter than it looks. It just looks quite dark in the pot. I have this one from May May Maybelline. This is one of the clear ones. This is Berry Bossy. This is another purple one, but it looks more pink than purple. I have this one from a brand that I believe is called Mocha or Colourpot, it says on here, but it doesn't actually have the colour, but it's just like a pink lipstick. I don't really use this one as much. And I have this one from... Colour by TVN and it's in the shade Moi. This is like a kind of like a duo creamy one, so it looks purple. When you put it on, it's like pink. But it takes a couple of goes to actually apply because you have to like really like do it like a few times to really get the colour. 
And the last one I have is this one, which is the designer brand in French Rose. I actually bought this one from a chemist, near, from a chemist near my house. Not like the, not like the, the, the red one which I stole. It's a really beautiful kind of dusty pink colour. So I love that one quite a bit. I'm also just going to show you these because why ever not. I've also got some lip lighters. So I have this one which is the Maybelline Color Sensational in 105 Nude Whisperer. Which I have never opened but that's what it looks like. I have this one from Huda Beauty, which is the lip contour in Wifey, which looks like this. I can't really flip it up, that's what it looks like. I have a few from this brand called Nabi. So I have this Nabi one in the shade Angel, which looks like this. I have this Nabi one in peach lip liner. It's like a beautiful like champagne pink. I have this one which is the Revlon Color Stay lip liner in blush or rose fard. It's just like a crayon. This is like a lip crayon really. And then I have this one which is another Nabi and this is the pink lip liner. This is just in pink. That one's been used the less as you can see. I did have more, but I didn't get rid of them because I don't know what I've done with them. So that is mainly all of my lipsticks. I do have some lip glosses of my stuff, but if I did them as well, this video would be even longer than my eyeshadow one, so I'm not going to make it that long. Instead, I'm just going to stop it here. Ugh, I apologise, but yeah, but thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and and I'll see you, and I'll see you again soon bye